Okay, so I'm only making this video because it's just been on my heart and my mind and I know I look crazy, but it's the reason for it. Like I have just had like several conversations with my family members and all I said is that I'm not voting for Kamala. I don't like her. I don't agree with anything she stands for if she even stands for anything. And I feel like that's my opinion and I'm allowed to have it, right? Never once have I told anybody in my family what they need to do and who they should vote for and et cetera. But I, when I say like, I have been met with so much fire from, I won't name specific family members, but from my family members, I literally don't understand it. All I said is that I'm not, voting a certain way which i don't think that we should just because we're black just because we're a family or just because someone told you to that we should vote blue no matter who i don't think that's right i do not agree with that i think that every person should do their own research figure out what resonates most with you and then conduct yourself accordingly vote accordingly whatever and i feel like i shouldn't be like i feel borderline bullied a little bit like what the heck is that about? like why do we do that to each other like it's is not even just as families like it's black people right like it's really kind of bothering me a little bit because as when i was growing up my parents used to tell me to be a leader and not a follower don't just do things because somebody told you to or everyone else is doing those things right so why it does it make voting the exception like why do i have to agree with my family and then the craziest part about it is that like they're asking me like i never once <laughs> came and said so this is what i think and this is what you need to do and this is this and that is that. you asked me how i felt about the election you asked me how i felt about potentially our first black female president and yeah black in air quotes because I mean if you know you know but at the end of the day so what isn't that my opinion and aren't I allowed to have it right it, and that just lets me know that there's other people that still haven't done their research or they're kind of stuck in this mindset and I just I don't get why you want they want me to be in that same mind mind frame I guess and it's really just bothering me like i don't know do anybody else, does anyone else like experience this do you get what i'm saying like i'm really like reaching for something here because i feel really like alone on an island right now and i know that i'm not the only one that feels the same way but it's just like what the heck like and then to tell me you know well don't push your daughter in a certain way let let her decide on her own and I never once said that I'm forcing her to do anything. Like I tell her she needs to figure it out on her own and that, you know, do your own research, learn and do what you feel is best for you, right? And then for people, I just don't get it. Like they're telling me you, you agree with how Trump talks about women. What did he say? But these are the same people that can sit here and listen to freaking Meg Thee Stallion, Cardi B, Glorilla, and all these people. My dad's favorite album was uh, The Chronic, uh, for Christ's sake. And you're telling me you have a problem with things that Trump said? Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Like, that's the, I just don't get it. And then the logic is, oh, well, he's supposed to be a president. So what? We cuss out our kids all the time, especially in certain communities. We have no issue cussing out our kids, but somehow it's a problem to hear somebody say, oh, well, this is to talk to somebody and tell them that they're rude to their face or tell somebody that they're fake news or tell somebody what they really think about them. Like, why is that offensive? My, you know, like, I don't know I just don't get am I making sense or is it is it me like really is it is it me is it me please please let me I really want to know like I'm I'm I wish you guys could really understand how I feel because I'm I'm just so like what just happened today and I mean there's been about three people and even now 
Okay, so don't talk to, just don't even talk about the, uh, politics with your family. Don't talk about politics with people who don't want to talk about. It. But then I get another text message from another family member. Uh, after all of this, have you heard about this? I don't want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> like stop doing that you know what i mean like but then you don't like my answer so do you want to fight with me or do you want to actually listen to me and then that's the other thing and that's why i don't agree with a lot of people on the left i don't like having those conversations anymore because a lot of people on the left their initial response is to get mad at you right and they want to try to intimidate you they want to try to uh, why this and what and and it's like I'm not even responding to you. I'm not responding to you in the same way. The one family member was like, well, I mean, we'll just have to agree, disagree and just learn to love each other. I'm like, don't we disagree about things all the time and we still move forward as a family, right? Like, isn't that kind of what family is? So I don't, I, I don't know. Am I making sense? Please let me know. Because I, I really feel like it can't just be me, right? It can't be right? I don't know. Let me know.